KCK Fire Station shut down. But as 41 Action News reporter Brenda Lee Gonzalez reports, the problem is much deeper than just some old pipes. She joins us live now from that fire station four on 81st and Leavenworth Road in KCK. Brenda Lee. A crew was out here earlier this morning cleaning everything up in here. The problem started here on the side of the building. It's still pretty muddy here, but nothing close to what it looked like early Sunday morning when this place was flooded with about a couple feet height of water and seeping into this firehouse and making it unlivable. It's close to day four since fire station number four had to shut down for emergency repairs. KCK Deputy Chief Firefighter Craig Duke points to the problem. This is the, this is the pipe. A faulty pipe that flooded the station. All the water was basically above the level of where the pipe was. Cleanup crews are working as quickly as they can. Commissioner Mike Kane worries the real problem is more about the station's 50 plus years. This is a perfect example of one that, that's outdated and old. Uh, we, we still use it, but we'd be better off tearing it down and replacing it with a new one. The average age of a KCK firehouse is 53. Duke says stations usually undergo a major restoration after half that time. The unified government, the commissioners, the mayor, the, the county administrator, they realize that the, we're going to have to address this, and the, the sooner the better, or else we're going to run into issues like this that we're not expecting. In the meantime, the nearest firehouse is about eight minutes away. Not yet a cause for panic for Billy Nicholson. We are well, well protected with all the rest of the stations that are here and everything. But enough to concern David Fruits, who lives a mile away from Station 4. A five-minute extra response from another location, that would be devastating. Which is precisely why Duke's priority but we're getting it done. is getting this station back open as soon as possible. The unified government is conducting a survey of all of the house of all of the firehouses in the city to see if they need any immediate repairs. But a spokesperson for the UG tells me that building just rebuilding one firehouse will cost millions of dollars that right now the city doesn't have. Reporting live in KCK, Brenda Luis Gonzalez, 41 Action News. Well, that